Hi, this is your host Solomon Bharti and welcome to a special edition of TFR Newsroom for KubeCon and CloudNativeCon. And today we have with us Adam Parko, Vice President of Engineering at Mirantis. Adam, it's good to have you on the show. It's your debut, so welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Mirantis is showcasing K0s at KubeCon along with Lens Extension. So tell us a bit about what exactly is K0s. K0s is a brand new open source uh, Kubernetes distribution. It's developed and created by the creators and founders of Lens, the world's most popular Kubernetes IDE. And it's actually also the spiritual successor to uh, the Pharaoh's Kubernetes distribution. We're taking uh, all our learnings from um, you know, what, we did with, what we did with Pharos, as well as uh, time at Docker and, and Mirantis, and we've created this uh, very modern 100% vanilla upstream Kubernetes distribution. So tell me a bit about what is the need for this light uh, feed Kubernetes distribution? Yeah, great, great question. So we're, we're trying to target basically everyone. It's, um, it's for developers, uh, you know, operators, it's for um, massive production scale clusters, it's for local development, it's kind of the one distribution to rule them all. Uh, and, and you're right, um, you know, you've got K8s, you go all the way down to K0, right? Zero has a very special meaning to us. Um, it's zero friction, uh, zero cost, zero overhead. Um, it's it's the lightest, smallest distribution there is. Are you targeting edge devices as well, or just uh, you're trying to make Kubernetes uh, lighter? What is the basic idea behind uh, K0s? So I also like to say that K0s does for Kubernetes uh, what Docker did for containers. And what I mean by that is Docker obviously didn't create containers, but they sure made it very simple to, and easy to use, right? No setup uh, needed. No, conf no complex configuration, uh, no background or skill really needed. Anybody anywhere could quickly run uh, a container, right, using Docker. So this is similar with K0s. Uh, you know, Kubernetes is very complex. It, it's, it's large, it's, it's kind of scary, it's hard to set up and run. Uh, but with K0s as a single binary, um, you know, with one line to uh, download, install, and run, and use, very simple, zero friction. It's a great developer experience. Let's talk about the core components of K0s. Core components? So it's um, built and packaged as a single binary. As I mentioned, it's 100% vanilla upstream Kubernetes. Um, at the base, it's uh, you know a Kubernetes distribution, but we're, we designed it and packaged it so that it's very flexible. Let's say all batteries included. Um, the choice is yours on how you use it. It's highly configurable and it's going to be very secure. We're talking about security a lot these days in the cloud net or Kubernetes world. Um, since you have mentioned zero, <laughs> what about zero trust? Uh, uh, what, else, what is the security aspect of uh, K0s? Well, K0s uses um, you know, upstream component tree, but down the line, we're looking at uh, building it and, and and so as it is a single binary, we are able to uh, have complete control over the libraries uh, that K zeros uses. So any system libraries that would have particularly or in the past have been used um, from the host OS, we are bundling packaging as part of this this binary. So we have complete control over the security of that. So uh, in the future, we may be um, swapping out. Uh, cryptography in certain components and replacing it with FIPS validated crypto cryptography, allowing for a very secure um, you know, Kubernetes distribution that can be deployed on any Linux kernel. Uh, you know, doesn't have to be a certain uh, Linux distribution, can run anywhere and it'll have that level of security wherever it goes. As you mentioned uh, that it's kind of for everybody, but are there any specific use cases that you're targeting with K0s? I'd like to say that again, it's it's for absolutely all use cases, but it's we're coming at it from a very open source and developer centric view. So our goal is for K zeros to become you know the the de facto Kubernetes distribution. So from um, you know being quickly and easily able to run it on your local developer desktop, right, with a single command to both install or to download and install, you know, a single command to run, uh, as well as it supports. Uh, K0 supports uh, being able to be run in Docker, so a single Docker run command, 
right? So you've got that really easy to use, easy to get started, no background needed uh, experience to uh, use Kubernetes, but then uh, it doesn't stop there, right? Uh, it's also applicable to um, your production clusters, your massive scale production clusters, uh, all the way to your edge IoT use cases, uh, public cloud, hybrid cloud, you know, uh, a bare metal, wherever and ever you want to use it, it works. And I think the real power there is that it's the same Kubernetes distribution. So your code runs and works the same all the way through your cycle from you know developing to testing uh, to production. That's very powerful. Right, it's an open source project. So how are you planning to commercialize it or productize it? Or it, how does it fit or integrate with the with Mirantis Cloud Platform? Yeah, it's a good question. So we, we wanna we wanna grab let's say like the hearts and minds of developers, right? That's why it's open source. Um, we've also found in the past that different industries have different requirements. So for example, if you want to embed um, K0s in a, a device, right, for Edge IoT, uh, there's licensing problems, there's ex export laws. Uh, a lot of companies might not even use the software if it's not open source. So, you know, it has to be open source. Um, but after that, right, and as well, open source allows for that usage and adoption and integration with our partners and the ecosystem. Uh, it's just easier to do things open source. Uh, once we have that though, um, people will always need support. They always need, you know, production you know, SLAs and SLOs. Um, they want the added security. They want um, services built around it. Um, they need like higher level day two ops. It, you know, it goes on forever um, after that, right? But at the base is the is the in the, in the core is, is K zeros. Adam, thank you so much for taking your time out and talk about. K zeros, and I also like the way you drew a parallel with Docker's and Kubernetes there. And I look forward to talk to you again as this project is evolving, and I'm sure there's a lot to talk about in the project future. So once again, thank you. Yeah, thank you.